Hello and good morning. It's Phil Thatch and I'm here once again at the Hiawassee Wildlife Refuge doing some bird photography, sandhill cranes. Today is, I think, December 29th and today I've decided to bring the RF 800 F11 and my brand new R6 Mark II and do some birds in flight with this setup. And so far it's going pretty good. I got here right at sunrise and uh, really enjoying photographing these sandhill cranes. There's a lot of people here and it embarrasses me to to make video clips in front of a lot of people so i probably won't make a whole lot of video clips today but i'm doing uh speaking of video clips i'm making some video clips some in-flight video clips handheld uh with the r6 mark ii and the 800 as well as still photography so let's take a look at what i'm getting so far on this beautiful winter morning I took advantage of the fact that I got there just a few minutes after sunrise and I started out working on some small in the frame kind of rule of thirds shots with the beautiful clouds that had a little bit of pink and even some darker colors in them that morning at sunrise with the sandhill cranes. Here's a shot with some color in the clouds and six sandhill cranes flying across. It almost looks like the bottom layer of clouds is a road they're driving on. And here's three sandhill cranes, two adults, the first and second one, and an immature juvenile sandhill crane bringing up the rear. Sometimes in the early morning light, if the wing position is just right and the sun angle is just right, you can catch the shadow of the bird's head on the wing. And here are a pair of sandhill cranes as they are flying across, this time from right to left. And this next shot is kind of almost a landscape photography shot. Those mountains are all the way across the river from the observation platform with the beautiful sandhill cranes in the foreground. I enjoy making bird photography where the birds are small in the frame. Not to say that I don't enjoy when the birds are large in the frame, but small in the frame shots can be very beautiful, especially with the mountains, one leaning one way and the next one leaning another way, and then the top one being somewhat level. And here is another cloud shot, starting to lose some of the pink in the sky now, but there's still a little bit left with the beautiful sandhill crane and it has its mouth open making that noise you're hearing in the video clips. I must say that the combination of the Canon R6 Mark II with the RF 800mm f11 lens was really good for birds in flight of these large birds and this shot and the next shot are another one and another two with the shadow on the wing Heather caught a number of these the last time we were here and I really thought it was cool. So when I looked through my pictures, I did look for this phenomena to share with you. Here is a trio of photographs of the sandhill cranes as they flew over the little slough low in the foreground. And that blue water is not really that color. That's not the color of that water at all. But what you're seeing is a reflection off the water of the blue sky. And all of those little dots in the water down at the bottom of the photograph, all those are sandhill cranes. There were so many there that morning. My favorite wing position to photograph these sandhill cranes is when their wings are at the very highest that they raise them because you can get good light on the bottom and on the top of the wings. Wait a minute, that's not a sandhill crane. Look, I caught a very small in the frame blue jay as it was flying by there at the wildlife refuge. Another wing position as I like is when the wings are straight out, but only if the bird is banking like this. And on this picture, I actually darkened the eye and look how bright it still is. Here's another sandhill crane with the wing position high up, maybe not quite as high as that last one. And here are a pair of sandhill cranes as they are banking, which I do really like that position of the wings and look how beautiful these birds are. All right, look at all these pictures. This is one flyby that I shot with the R6 Mark II 
and the 800 f11 it's 141 pictures and these 141 pictures let's look at the timestamp on the first one 901 a.m and 24 seconds and then let's look at the timestamp on the last one it is 901 a.m and 31 seconds so that's seven seconds worth of shots 141 shots in seven seconds. I was shooting at the medium speed on electronic shutter. Uh, that's a tree branch in front of the bird there. I was shooting on the medium speed with electronic shutter, which gives you 20 frames per second on this camera. And honestly, I wish this camera would give you the option to just pick how many frames a second you would like to have in electronic shutter, because I think the, the slowest one is a little too slow for bird photography. And 20, I think, is more than I need. Um, but it is interesting that I shot this entire 140, what was it, 141, I think, shot burst. Every shot, as you can see here, is in focus, and I never hit the buffer. Um, I use compressed RAW files because they're a little bit smaller and easier on the buffer and also easier on the hard drive. But here are all these shots. These are raw straight out of camera raw as you can see i still have uh the sensor dust which drove me crazy all day long i did get that cleaned off successfully when i got home but all of these shots are in focus all in one burst and i did not hit the buffer i could have kept on shooting but once the bird flew in front of the tree i decided to go ahead and quit shooting. It was a real treat to meet a couple of viewers there at the Hiawassee Wildlife Refuge. Stephen Stewart here that I made a selfie of with my phone is shooting with a Nikon Z6 II and the 200 to 500 and he's been a viewer of the channel for a long time and I also met another viewer Ralph Thomason who was there. He was shooting with a Canon R7 and the 100 to 500 lens so it was really cool to meet both of those fellows. Here is another layers shot uh, with the mountains had a little bit of cloud on them in this shot and I love the way that turned out. And here is another kind of a banking shot and you can see a little bit of layers in the mountains with a cloud on them in the background. This is another shot that has some clouds over the mountains in the background and I like that the dark part of the mountain was right on the bird and you can also see some birds in the background. Here's a pair flying very close together. The top one is an adult and the lower one is a juvenile. And this next shot may be my favorite Sandhill Crane shot of the whole day. I've actually shared this on Vero and Instagram both. And just a beautiful example of a Sandhill Crane. Here is an immature yellow-bellied sapsucker and it flew up and landed right beside all the photographers there at the observation platform. And I saw it and yelled, there's a yellow-bellied sapsucker. And then it flew off. And I finally chased it around and got this photograph of it. Now here is another shot of uh, one sandhill crane. It looks like it's working on coming in for a landing. Lots of other birds up high in the frame, but what really caught my eye when I was going through my pictures are the two mature bald eagles way in the distance in a tree. I came over here to the other side of the gazebo and there's a lot of sandhills over here in this field and the light's kind of in the right direction. But what I was actually shooting was an Eastern Bluebird and a Blue Jay on this fence. There were actually two Eastern Bluebirds on the fence and they were both females. Here's the first one that I made a photograph before I got all the way to the fence and then she flew off. And then here is the Blue Jay that was on the fence and you can barely see the other blue bird in the background and then the blue jay flew off and then I got this photograph almost at the edge of the fence of this beautiful female eastern bluebird. Had a great time today at the wildlife refuge making photographs of sandhill cranes. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did give me a thumbs up. If you want to see some more subscribe and hit the bell and as always I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye bye from the Hiawassee Wildlife Refuge.